Frederick West, Texas, the other day, and we are in the Galleria. We're going to the car culture today. Um, it is at this Kirby Drive venue, which is actually a super sick venue. But if you make any noise at all, the management comes out with their sniper rifles and they pick you off one at a time. Um, so let's see if they will let a rowdy boy such as myself in. We're joined here today on the road by the Wide Body Pandem Giveaway Supra and the Lamborghini Gallardo. Um, so, we're in good company, but there's going to be even cooler stuff at the show, so let's get right to it. Hi, friend. How are you? Oh, oh, coming, coming. He came. He came over here with us. Woo! Okay. <laughs> that sponsor this man. Who? Sponsor him. Sponsor me. I'll take any sponsorships. I like free stuff. Alrighty, boys. Let us see if they will let us in. I didn't register either, and I think you're supposed to register, but we'll see. Well, Tony let us in, the car culture. Homie, come on, homie. Let's see, with my loud and rowdy self. You went the wrong way, buddy. I don't care. All right, boys. Um, I got them all. place like this the amount of gaps you give out does not constitute the amount of parking spaces you get so i don't know if i'm gonna get a spot <laughs> and this car is very dirty too yeah my car's a dirty pos just kidding that was a gtr this is just a dirty race car uh oh the r8 got denied that's not looking good for me boys me 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 and the camelo goodbye camelo bye Bye. Look at that puppy. It's so beautiful. That's like a wolf. Oh my god. Good spot. Hey man. What's up dude? How are you? Yeah. I didn't came out at a perfect time. Really? <laughs> We have successfully found ourselves a parking spot in the garage and um, we're gonna go check out the show. Uh, this is gonna be slightly more fancier than Cypress Cars and Coffee, but there's still plenty of uh, cool cars. We got a Shelby GT350 rolling in as well, who also did not get a spot in the show, unfortunately. And then a 720 that didn't even get in the show. So we got the Miami Blue GT3 RS, AKA Jono's Best out here. And then we got the 964 Porsche race car, dude. This thing is nuts. Ah. Butthole. That pupper has a mohawk. We also have the 964 Porsche race car. He's got the slicks all the way around. The race car in here, this thing looks absolutely freaking crazy, brother. Sheesh. And then next to him, we've got a, another plentiful array of Porsches. We have the um, red GT3 RS. I believe Guards Red is the color on this one, and this looks very nice. I've never seen a GT3 RS in this color. We got the 997 Turbo S Cabriolet. We got another 964 over here. Or is this a 930, boys? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. 991 GT3. And then we go on to the good stuff. We got the uh, Volcano Orange McLaren 570S. R8 Double Trouble, we got the blue and the green twin turbo one. To break it up a little bit, we have a very cute puppy over here in front of the Porsche and the R8. Hello, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Let me continue on down the line. We got a 993 Porsche here looking damn good. And then this car reminds me of an Eagle 
but it's also possibly the most baller car you ever go anywhere. The SLR McLaren. You have the nice Mercedes interior, you got the doors that go up, and you got a supercharged V8 under the hood with the side pipes right there behind the front wheel. Okay, there's not a lot of space in this venue, so a lot of these shots will be interrupted, but we have a couple of Land Rovers here, uh, Defenders that look like they've been like resto modded to be extra crazy. Like, look at this, dude. That's nuts. And we got the blue one down here as well. I think this one had like mammoth stickers on it, which I don't know what that means, but look at that. Then to keep on going down, oh, we got the Bronco. This one is a Icon Motors one, which I believe means it has the Coyote 5.0 in it. And then we got the C8 down here on some like 22 inch Ford Giottos. I don't hate them, but I, I it's not for me. <laughs> We got the old GTRs around the corner. We got the R32 and then the R33 as well. Which would you take? You like the R33 on some BBSs or you like the R32 on the TEs? So you got the R33 on the BBSs looking damn good. You got the R32 on the TEs also looking good. Both right hand drive. And then if you look over off in the distance, I can't go in the sun because I'll melt and die. We have the husband and wife Corvettes over there. So he had that gold wheeled C7 and then his wife just got that C6. Couple goals. We need to get you a Corvette. We got the Jaguar XKRS. You don't see a whole lot of these. They're pretty rare. We got the McLaren 720S as well in Volcano Yellow. I love it. Of course, of course. McLaren is my favorite. Let me go on. We got the uh, Huracan, the gray on the yellow. It's cars galore here today. So we got the 80s Ferrari. I, I get confused with the 308 and the 328, but it's one or the other. Then we go on to the next one. We got the Aventador S. Looking damn good. And then, possibly the most gangster spec car here, we got the murdered out matte black Huracan Spider on the yellow stitched interior with the wing in the back that I do goose to a lot. And then, a car you also never see, we have the Morgan Aero Super Sport. They tried to make a retro looking car, I believe out of an E92 M3, and I mean, they, they succeeded. You just don't see a whole lot of them. We move on, we got the F8 Tributo here, followed by the Audi RS6 wagon. Oh, I love it so much, dude. Keep on going down the line, we got the Nardo Gray old Porsche. Uh, looks like a little 912 or something like that. Porsche purist, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know my old Porsches that well. And we got the V10 M6 looking damn good, and the brown Ferrata wheels. It's one of the best sounding cars out there. And then of course, this thing. So we got the Ford GTs here, and one of my favorite cars as well. We got the dark blue and the white stripes. We got the gray on the silver. Sheesh, these cars are so crazy looking, man. 16 years later, they still just have so much road presence. And we got the other F8 Tributo here. The dark gray one. So aggressive looking. And we got the wide body Supra. One of 499, this thing is sick, dude. We got the 430 Scuderia 16M, which is the convertible version of the Ferrari 430. This matte gray color on this car looks so sick. I do believe this is a factory paint, and it just fits it so well, dude. We go on to the next car, we got a GT3 hit to here, but my God, look at this color. I think this is called Verde Artemis, and it just looks incredible. So out of the crazy colored Lambos we got here, would you take the teal colored one on the black wheels or would you take the Viola Parsifé Performante on the gold wheels? I think I know which one you're going to say. Do you like the purple or do you like the teal? I like the teal more. You like the teal? I think I do too. We got the homie Juan out here in his very fast C6 ZR1. He took out the window and he got the, the ported blower up there. You got the fat tires in the back. Plate reduction to the max. You ain't sneaky, brother. <laughs> and he's got the laundry out back too. We got one of the regulars here at the car culture, the Maroon Gen 4 Viper. You got the 8.4 liter V10 under the hood, I think. And I just love this color, man. I just love the Viper, man. I, I, I can't get enough of him. We got the homie Samurai Jones out here in his R34 GTR looking damn good. Can't get enough of this car. Can't wait until more of these start popping up once they become fully legal and easier to import at least. His is fully legal. 
This R33 here looks pretty quick. All right, the GTR boys and girls came out to haunt my, haunt my memories. We have a lot of GTRs out here today. I particularly like this uh, matte white on the bronze TEs. That's a good look. I do like that a lot. And then we got She's Bad GTR over here in the chrome blue Boost Logic car. So we got the Porsche boys out here. We got a little 997 here from Florida. And we got the GT4 that Allie really likes here. Maybe we'll get her a GT4 at one point. Or GT3, I like GT3s better. But then, of course, we have the McLaren 720S here. And then, our homie from France, who has his R8 in the U.S. and he has a GTR in France. Looking damn good. RWS, too, rear-wheel drive. So on the 720S, there's so much carbon fiber. We got the headlight eye socket here in carbon fiber. The little side vents in carbon, the hood vents in carbon, the mirrors in carbon, the roof in carbon, and the top of the doors included here. All the vents and everything, carbon. The wing would be sick in carbon. We have the little Alfa Romeo 4C. He's got a wing. I've never seen one of these with a wing on it. And then we got the red carbon fiber mirrors as well. This is a pretty crazy look. So we got the C7ZR1 looking damn good. The black on the chrome wheels. We got the ZTK pack wing in the back. Soft top convertible and an 8-speed. This thing is so clean. Long time support of the channel as well. Then we got brother here in his blacked out C7Z06 as well. And then on to the, uh, I believe, this is Elkhart-like blue on the C7Z. The thing looks super clean. So we got a regular at a lot of the Houston car meets. We got Nick Dennis in his uh, Gen 2 Viper looking damn good. He's got the r triplets all around and a nice little uh, diffuser on the back. He is the Kool-Aid man out here. Look at the little door handle on the Gen 2s. So I'm going to show you all this car again one more time because it's just too nice to pass up. But right then over here we got the matte Sepang Blue R8 V10 looking damn good. I do like this factory color a lot next to another very nice matte blue factory color as well. And then I was told this car has gotten a fresh rebuild. He's been in a few videos before. It's a 300 ZX but he has just gotten a freshly built motor and uh, some bigger turbos and now he is making over 900 horsepower. So this man over the last couple months tripled his horsepower. Absolutely crazy. So we got the Jaws 64 Cadillac Coupe de Ville, 7.1 liter V8, 340 horsepower, blue on the white looking good. The Jaws special, he's got the hat in there and he's got the shark in the back. It kind of looks like Enzo. Okay, sorry, I keep telling Allie we're leaving, but one more last glorious look at the thick thighs of the Ford GT. Alrighty boys, I think that is going to be it for us today. We um, had a great time checking out some of the car culture. A lot of cool stuff was here that isn't in every supercar being used, so that's always dope. Uh, but on that note, I think we're gonna head out. There's actually a couple cars that uh, we're gonna go check out down here because they're cool. You see that comic book Lexus? But uh, let's get to that and then we'll head out. We got a matte black Audi here. We got the RCF, the Lexus boys in here strong. We got another RCF down there. A Yas Marina Blue M3. That thing's pretty clean. Then down here we got like a comic book Lexus RCF. That's cool. <laughs> From the homie Mike's rap shop, Coach Your Auto. I know Allie's liking this, huh? It's nice. Someone's making a lot of noise down here. Look at this dude. A little Turbo Civic? Hood exit and everything? Alrighty guys, now for real. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I think it is time for us to head out and uh, get to some other stuff today. Uh, let me know what your favorite car was in today's video. Huh? But, I'll catch you next time guys. In, uh, shop cars across the extends about 20% off. Little BMW over there. That thing's nice. A little fixed roof coupe action.